Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today we're looking at this Ford Ranger. I'm going to be pointing out the EGR system or the components in the EGR system in order of how they work uh, on this vehicle. This will be the same if not very similar to many vehicles out there, the Ford Taurus, the F-150s, the Broncos, any vehicle that uses this EGR system setup. If you have a EGR code or if you're chasing an EGR code, make sure that you have no vacuum leaks in the system, all of your connections are good, and you have no exhaust leaks. All those can give you false codes. If you do need any of the parts shown in this video, make sure you look for a link in the description below to purchase those and always replace with the OEM manufacturer uh, replacement parts, so that's Motorcraft parts. Like, subscribe, and share while you're watching this video. If you have any questions, make sure you comment below with those. The EGR control valve is the valve used by the computer to actuate the EGR valve itself. This valve should have a constant vacuum source from the engine. When the valve is actuated, it allows vacuum to continue to the EGR valve and open the diaphragm. The EGR valve is the valve that opens up to allow exhaust gas that has burnt through the combustion process back into the intake manifold and continue through the combustion process a second time to attempt to burn the fuel that was unburnt through the combustion process the first time. The EGR valve rarely goes bad, but they do play a vital role in emissions reduction. A proper working EGR valve will reduce NOx significantly and also increase your gas mileage by a lot. The EGR valve should have a switching vacuum to it and not a constant vacuum to it. To easily check the vacuum or to see if a EGR valve is good, you could apply vacuum to the EGR valve and make sure it holds a vacuum not too much I believe it works under about five to seven inches of vacuum the DPFE sensor is the sensor the computer uses to ensure the EGR valve is working properly but from experience this is the most problematic part or component of this whole EGR system when you replace these Make sure you check the pigtail at the connection to the DPFE sensor itself, as well as ensure you get a Motorcraft replacement part. I've replaced them with many aftermarket replacement parts and always had the customer come back and end up getting a Motorcraft part and that was uh, the fix in that situation. Make sure you don't have any cracks or frays in the vacuum hoses that are from the exhaust to the sensor itself. I believe there's silicone or some type of high heat hose, but always make sure you don't have any cracks right there. That could give you inaccurate readings. Also exhaust leaks, which will cause lean codes and bad gas mileage as well. The DPFE sensor right here is the last part of this EGR system. Hopefully this video answers a lot of the questions you have about a code that you are chasing. Make sure you comment below with the year, make, model, and engine size that this vehicle helped you on. Like, subscribe, and share while you're doing so. Maybe one of these two videos right here might help you out in a further diagnosis or repair. I'll see you on the next hopefully helpful video.